Hello everyone and welcome back to Daedalus Plays Europa Universalis IV as Japan. We're going to continue our war with the Manchu. We're going to get right back into the meat of things here. Oh good, our colony in the in Aleut is now self-sustaining. We're going to hold off on colonizing a little bit because we need the, we can use the extra money that uh, we're drawing into colonizing stuff. We should be able to colonize more stuff uh, down here. What's our limit? We can only go up here. What? We can't colonize this. But we can colonize here. What? How does that even work? This is still colonial Alaska. This is colonial Alaska. What? I don't understand. Uh, alright, uh, fine. Whatever. I don't understand that, but I'm not gonna pretend I understand anyways. Uh, due to siege, okay, we're not taking winter attrition anymore, that's good. Prevent us from taking higher, uh, Let's blockade more of their ports. They already have pretty high. Oh, Buryatia pieced out? What? Oh no, they annexed Korchin, that's why, okay. I was wondering. I was wondering, I was like, what? wasn't I at war with another guy? Oh yes, Buryatia, and they're gone, they've been annexed. Alright, good, one down. We're not gonna advance, we're gonna... Alright, good. Can we get peace now? Hmm, they don't want peace. Maybe if we control their capital again, they'll change their minds. Or maybe we're just gonna... Oh. Maybe if we just sit... We're just gonna sit here. We have the war goal. to boost my prestige. Uh, 11. I really want to get some more ideas here. The plus 50% manpower modifier is really good. Hmm. I need a lot more though to be able to form to get military tech 11. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait and see. Yeah, they're just sitting here like a bunch of fuck boys. Come at me, bro. Come on, accept my peace, you sack of shit. Come on. Your war exhaustion is high enough, isn't it? Japan is making gains. The gains! The gains! The war gains are crazy. Discover support rebels. Ah, you dick. I was hoping that we would get some rebels to fire and divert you, dickbag, from moving out of here. Because I don't want you to be here. Get the f fuck out of here, man. Yeah, our army is sapping most of our income because we are over our force limit. Are they over their force limit? 33. Yeah, they're one over their force limit, but they have no manpower. They're fully reinforced though, so they're gonna start reinforcing it fully. Hey man, I can just sit here all day. <laughs> I can just sit here all day. I'm not gonna attack you in the mountains. They're just, uh, are you crazy? I think I'm gonna just come at you in the mountains. You must be out of your fucking gourd. More ships down. Taking another loan. Still won't accept. This is 24 Warsaw after all.
Might I be able to interest you in some bait? Nice attrition. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I like doing that. <laughs> uh, turn the speed down. Nice six percent attrition. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, it's evil. It's so cheap. I love it. I love these cheap strategies. <laughs> They're taking attrition here as well, 1.4%. Do you want to accept this already? Come on. Come on. You know you want to accept peace with me. Or you do prefer to take attrition. I think he prefers to take attrition. Yeah. Just just stay like that. It's not like your... Uh, it's not like your war exhaustion is going to keep climbing up because you're taking attrition like an idiot. Come on. Still not willing to play ball. Oh, I like that. Let's see, you see that? 420 overextension total. Oh. <laughs> if we took everything, which would be impossible because it's like 320% war score or something. To take all of Manchu, which I would not want. Alright, they're coming here again. Get ready for the attrition train on the 13th of April. Oh, they're really going for it. Or maybe not. Oh, they are going for it, alright. Bastards. Negative two, it's pretty much like fighting in the mountains at this point because of the negative two bonus to river crossing. Oh! Too close! No leader. 420, no leader, no scope, motherfucker. Yeah, what? what's that? Six war score. Holy shit. I didn't play ball now. Yep, you are. You want to give me some money as well? Yeah, there you go. The fuck off my land, you asshole. Get out of here. Akubusie. Let's get rid of some outdated mercs. What's our... Or three over our limit. No, not the cav. The mercs. Alright. We're back to being at our force limit. Hopefully we have enough points to core everything. No, we do not. Alright, whatever. Ah, hopefully the... Oh, there's no unrest here. Unfortunate. I was hoping there would be some unrest, so it would be easier for me to take these provinces. We're almost done taking all of Korea, though. All we need, I guess, is what? Yukjin. We only needed Yukjin, Hamyong, and Wonju to be able to have all of Korea under our control. Excellent. Perfect. This war went very, very well. We took a lot of loans, but nah. Worth it. Oh yeah, we're at war with the other scum scuzz bucket. Sure, let's go to over. Let's go over there. We need to start colonizing further into Alaska. gonna be saving some cash so that we can pay back our loans. They are quite a bit. Or six loans, that's how much? 670. Oof, ah, ee, that's a lot of that's a lot of money. It's painful. Yeesh. Alright, let's go to speed four. Let's gather our ships back. money because we're reinforcing a lot of troops. Wow, that went well. 
Manchu should now be having a bit. Are you kidding me? You're allied with Manchu again, you sack of shit. Oh, why? <laughs> why? Why? Why, man? Why? Just, 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 just fucking why? Why? Oh, come on. You tricky bastard. You have cores and claims all over me. And Ming sees is like, yeah, I think I can use him as an ally. That'll be perfectly fine. Urgh. Let's just take somebody who has cores in our land and is growing like exponentially in power every few, every few decades. Sure, let's uh, let's ally him instead of attacking him. To be honest, though, I prefer the Ming be an ally to Manchu than he be. Uh, oh my God, we're taking attrition like an idiot. Please, no more. Confucian zealots, ugh, oh, come on now. Don't do this to me. No zealots. Hmm, white peace. Alright. That war was, uh, fucking worthless. Nothing happened. The Timurids are looking nice and healthy. Tabaristan, well. Huh, well. Tabaristan, uh, Karakoyunlu took territory from, took the original capital of Tabaristan, and now Tabaristan is expanding into Karakoyunlu. Oh, they're a vassal of Kara. Interesting. I thought these were Kara. Oh no, I think these are Timurid territories. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. They're friendly towards this. What? We're so far away though. What the hell? I don't know why that would be the case. Maybe because they're a vassal and they're yearning for freedom. Sure, I'll lose the ducats. 50% to of our population is a little bit too much over here in Paganesan. Considering that we're up to... Sorry, there's those stupid rebels are arising. Those rebels, they are arising. No reason to be cheap. Let's just take everyone out. Can we get... Ugh, you almost had me. I thought I was gonna get a nice military tech, but you tricked me, game. You fucking tricked me. Almost had me there. Right, so much for your stupid revolt. Speed five. I'm not keeping any troops in the mainland because uh, there's really no risk of rebellion in the mainland. No point in having troops there, and we are not at war with anyone. Uh, Speed five. Peasants getting uppity. I hate that event. Not the worst event, but. It's among there is one among among them. Uh, I can't talk. Among one of my least favorite events, that's for sure. Smells of rancid donkey balls. I don't know what they would smell like, but they would probably smell pretty fucking bad. Diplomatic insult against Manchu. Ah, oh, you dick. You had to add insult to injury, didn't you? Right back at you. You ass. Power projection, I find it to be so hard to come by. Only plus three? Only plus seven, plus ten for the whole deal with uh, the Manchu. Oh, excuse me. While I yawn. Hmm. Let me have a bit of a still sippy of my tea here then. Uh, hopefully I'll feel more awake after this. Hmm. What are you doing here? Oh, those are those. I was looking for those ships. Auto transport took you all the way over there, and I've been looking for you ever since. Come back here. We're almost 
to 15. I'm actually kind of oh, Korean nationalists. Poop, fuck ass. Cord. I'm happy that they didn't uh, decide to revolt on top of. Sure. We have an error already. Oh, we do. 136. Oh, yeah, I remember him. I remember you, Yenobu Wasugi, of the Wasugi clan. Wasugi clan. Oh, did we finish Panganesan? I oh, know, there's just some disgusting natives rising up. Boy, you, they took a chunk out of my army there. I don't like that. Maybe we can avoid a crossing. No, not really. Ottomans were at it with the Mamluks. Once again, I already bust the walls already. Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down there. Uh, what's your name? They don't have a name for that. In chin. I'm gonna hit you in your chin, you in chin piece of shit. How about you? Pay the loan back, yes please. All right, they're gone. Yeah, here's here's what I think of your independent nation. Toward all of our provinces is very good. Turn this crap down at least fifty percent because I'm a cheap. Uh, we pay back a loan and we need to take another one right after that. Mm. Well, this is the price that we, the price we take for being victorious in war. We get to kick the Manchus' ass. Are they? Re how are they doing in manpower now? They're recovering fairly swiftly. Uh, I don't like that they allied with Ming. This is really bad. Are you friendly or defensive? I'm sure the Manchu are threatened. Oh, he's friendly. That's not good. He might declare war on... If, if Manchu declares war on me, Ming might just follow into the war. Hmm. Wow, that was a close call. Shit. I want to raise the... Funding on our army there. Ay, ay, ay. This is a very tricky situation because we're not. We are powerful enough to take on Manchu. When we saw that, we it was very, very tricky to take Manchu. If this was just Victoria too, where we have like an army that is a light years ahead. Seventy-four ducats. Eh, no. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad, I'm not gonna pay the money, man. Sorry. I'm a cheapskate, what can I say? Alright, our colony in Panganesan. Look at that, we're almost finished colonizing all of the Philippines. And uh, I think we might want to start. What's this? Sulu. Wow, you're so small, I can't even see you. You're a vessel of Brunei. I wanna get a colony here in Lanao. Hmm. Yeah, let's get you here. Just so you can fight through these uh, hordes of natives. Let's get you one more guy to help you out. Because we saw from that, there was, there was quite a close call. I want to get a uh, shared zone here with uh, Brunei. Start taking stuff from Brunei. That will prevent the Europeans from coming along this way. These promises aren't that great. I have what? Four base stacks, five base stacks, those are good. Three base stacks, two, one, three. They do produce spices, however, which is good. These promises are also very good. Uh, yeah, I might want to get a province sharing this, because from here we can uh, catapult from all the way over here to Brunei. And from Brunei we can start attacking Malacca. And of course, from Malacca we can start to get Lanzang. So we can start, con we can start con conquering all these nations over here. I don't know if we're gonna get the mission to take stuff from India. I think you do once you get 
I don't know if it requires westernization. I don't. Re I don't recall if, if uh, getting the C the free CB on India through e through event though, not the not the imperialism CB, but the one that comes through an event. I don't know if that requires uh, to give you to be western. I do not recall. I might check in the wiki and then I might check in the wiki later to know what the hell I'm what the hell I'm doing if I have to wait because I will eventually want to get in India just because their provinces as I have said before and I will restate because uh, it's worth restating they're so good they're so damn good Indian provinces are so good the Asian riches in general are so good Japan in general does not have a lot of riches as we see we don't have a lot of good tradable goods but if you go over here to the trade good map mode let's check here see their trade goods chinaware silk lots and lots of tea which will become very valuable as it goes along it will become much more valuable as it goes along they have some gold they have fish salt which is all right but their tea is very good also the spices controlling the spice trade is very good if you control the spice and tea trade, we are going to become very wealthy as a result. And I mean very wealthy. Trade is just gonna... Our trade income is gonna be very, very good if you control the trade. I don't, I forget what the bonus is. Let's start fabricating a claim on them, because why not? We can. Let's top off our relations with Ming. But yeah, if we control the spice and tea trade, even the silk trade, if we manage to do that. I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but if you control the spice and tea trade, we're going to be earning a lot of money. Not only because these provinces have a lot of base tax, but also from our trade income is going to be insane. It's going to be so good. We're going to be swimming in shekels. What's our time like? Okay, we still have some time left. That's very good. Lost our claim in Ming, that's okay. I don't plan on going at, going to war against Ming anytime soon, anyways. Hmm, Ming peasants. I don't see any more rebels. We have vision into Ming because they're our allies. Why are you not unseizing this? Ming. Mm, big fire engine roaring, rip roaring in the background there. Live near next to a hospital. Looks like you call into you call next to you all sorts of emergency vehicles. Are just some screaming next to your apartment. Uh, makes me miss home. It was very quiet. Kamcha dolls. I don't want to take Kamcha dolls. For what? One base tax and fish and for a revolt for not getting an accepted an accepted uh, culture. One base tax. One base tax. This is iron. But it's their capital. Nah, it's not worth it. Nah, it's not worth the trouble. Get a trade man. No. Stability man. Hmm. Really nobody that I really want. But I'll get the stability guy just for the extra admin points. Or rather, point singular. Declare war on Uzbek. Sure, I'll get right on that. I'll declare no CB war for a nation that's thousands of miles away. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just get this. Give us C free CBs against primitives. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. I should be doing. Uh, I should be exploring with my land units. Oh, wow. He's actually pretty decent. I'm very pleased with that. It's, uh, how much do you need for an expedition again? Is it like three guys? Let me see if I can check here. I wish you would just... I don't need to... Let's send five guys. The 
five guys. The five musketeers. <laughs> they will explore for us. Where's my ships? Give ships, please. Get on the boat. Ugh, no. Not army tra- Jeez, uh, I, w I love to have army tradition every time something like that happens to me. Well, shit. I almost forgot about that. That exploration thing that we can do. We do not have an explorer. We're going to be taking a heavy hit in our military tech, though, for that. We already are over a limit. I'm going to leave the explorer at that. I really hate this slow leader limit. It really fucking sucks. And it's kind of arbitrary, because it, if you think about it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, this nation is uh, not as developed as the others, because it has a lot of generals, and uh, by result wins a lot of battles. Like, really? You're going to penalize me in technology because I have one more general than I arbitrarily can have? I guess if there was some sort of logistics counter that you're not able to fuel as many militaries, but this seems so arbitrary. I mean, one general for a nation this as big as ours with how many we have 40,000 men under our command and we have only one general true we can get our leader we can get our leader to uh, help us out but still one general nah kind of crappy it's kind of dumb a dumb limit i don't like it. it seems overly arbitrary though the whole mana system is arbitrary in itself Eh, never mind. I do enjoy EU4. Though, I find it a very enjoyable game. I think I may prefer Vicky 2. I may have already said this, but I think I do prefer Vicky 2 over uh, EU4. But I also occasionally enjoy a good long game of EU4, as I am playing right now, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. Don't get me wrong. Don't think that I'm just be like, ah, I'm just get this shit so I can maybe get the EU4 audience on my channel. It's like, no, no, I, I really enjoy playing this game. It's so quite enjoyable. Or else I wouldn't have racked up, I think, like 500 hours or 400 hours. Whatever much I have. I don't have like a thousand hours or something, but some LPers have. The rep to have like thousands of hours. I have not had that chance yet to rack up thousands of hours into a game. I may have in the past, but uh, I didn't have the luxury of Steam counting our numbers. I had Steam before when they didn't count how many hours you played, they just said how, what games you had. Uh, those were the days. Counter Strike 1.5, Half Life 1. Opposing Force, Day of Defeat, not Source, the original one. That was actually a really good game. I really enjoyed Day of Defeat. Had to run on this crappy computer. The only crappy, the only computer that I had was crappy as fuck. And I even played it when I had newer games, but I still played that because my computer was pretty shitty. Too bad that uh, Day of Defeat Source isn't that big of a thing. I haven't played it. I, th I don't think I've ever played Day of Defeat Source actually. I don't think I've ever done that. Huh. Now that I think about it. And I really, really enjoyed Day of Defeat, the first one. Anyways, unrelated. But, uh, yeah. You know, and that's the kind of stuff that will come up in Let's Plays, you know? Just have the Let's Player ramble about shit. That's what happens. Uh, I don't want to lose the legitimacy. I would rather, in this case, lose the stability. Uh boost it up or wait. No, oh, wait. I can, uh, negative one stability isn't that horrible. People put too much value on stability sometimes. It isn't that bad to have negative stability as long as it isn't like negative three for a very long time. If you keep your revolt risk, national unrest, which ours is at the threshold of bad. It's negative, but it isn't horrendously negative. Those mercenary armies are expensive. And also the colon colonies are expensive as hell. And we have all these loans to pay back. 566 buckets of ducats. 
<sighs> Where do you war with me? Bengal, Assam, Jaunpur, Coach, and Golconda. And you're winning. Please stop expanding, you asshole. You want to take your Tsang, don't you? No. A war with Bengal. Oh, you want to take Assam. That is the conquest for what? Attack her against Bengal that Ava and conquest. Oh, Ava is at war. Ava is an ally with Ming. They're not even a vassal with Ming. They definitely in this in these upcoming in these patches they definitely did reduce the chance that oh they're finally sieging that I'm sieging it. Ah, they they really stabilized Ming. Ming is much more stable than I remember it being. In a lot of games in the previous patches by this time in the 1560s, 1570s, whatever, Ming would already have imploded at this time and have the vultures of Wairat, Manchu. All these other guys over here would have just jumped on it and taken as much as they could from the crippled Chinese states. But not the case anymore. Now Ming hangs up, hangs in there for quite a bit. They have no revolt risk anywhere. No unrest. This is really uh, tickling me in the wrong way. What's our timer looking like? All right. This should do for this episode. We're up to 31 minutes. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, please do consider leaving a like for this episode and subscribing to the channel. It helps me a lot. It helps the channel to grow and expand and helps more people like you to find out about my channel. Thank you very much, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.